In SharePoint 2010, you'll notice a huge change to the interface. The new user interface is designed so that you can accomplish more with fewer clicks of your mouse. In this video, we'll review some of those new features. The most significant change you'll find in SharePoint 2010 is the ribbon. The ribbon is located across the top of every SharePoint site. This new feature is more in line with other 2010 Microsoft products such as Word and PowerPoint. Depending on which part of the site you select and your permission level, various tabs will be available to you in the ribbon. Now we're going to take a look at a document library in both 2007 and 2010 versions and see how they compare. To create a new document, folder, or upload files, in SharePoint 2007, you would use the new and upload drop-down menus to complete the task. Now, in SharePoint 2010, these commands work in a similar way, and the buttons are easily located on the ribbon. To modify a document or multiple files, in 2007, you would use the document's individual drop-down menu. Now, to modify your documents, You'll need to simply place a check next to the desired file and from the ribbon select the command that you need. Another time-saving feature you'll find in SharePoint 2010 is the ability to select multiple files to either check the documents out all at once or delete the files from the library. This action you could not do previously in SharePoint 2007. And now for the last item that we will cover in this video, how to utilize the view feature. In SharePoint 2007, you would use the view function, which was located on the right hand side of your screen. From here, you can select multiple views that are available for your document library, modify the existing view, or create a personal view for yourself. Now, in SharePoint 2010, the view function is now conveniently located on your ribbon under the library tab. From here, you're able to create a view, modify existing views, insert columns into a view, and get a drop-down list of all the available views for that library. Thank you for watching our SharePoint 2010 New Features video. Good luck!